here. How are you today? Well, I hope you are happy and fine. Uh, today is Thursday, the 18th of June, and the day has arrived. Today is a very important day because you have the global exam. Yes, okay? For, but first of all, we are going to check page 47 from the activity book from the EM, sorry, from the exam Maisy Maisa, and listen. Only Martin and Santi, yes, have handed in the brainstorming and the video. And Tere, the brainstorming, but not the video. I need all of you to hand in, yes, the brainstorming from the story, from chapters one to chapter four. Yes, the sign of four. Only two, only four chapters. That not that is not a lot. Yes. So I have sent you messages, each of you messages, and I have checked today and yesterday and today again, and I haven't seen your answer. Yes. So please do it because I need you uh, to do that. Yes. Because I need the score. A great for literatura complementaria. I have already said before. Yes, so please do it. Okay, good. Well, uh, let's go to the EM. Yes, page 47. Okay, so exercise three. Yes, are you there? Exercise three and then one, two, three. All right, good. Number one, two. Number two, two. Number three, on. Number four, from. Number five, in number six two number seven with number eight two writing one help any ideas love two two five seven three one here two sorry three well four idea five don't and six about that was all okay so i want you to pay attention for this exam of course you will have <coughs> one hour and a half Remember you have to start, you know, remember you have to start the uh, test with the written part, okay? Is it clear? So I want you to understand something. This is the first exam that is not taken in the institution, yes? It's online now. So I want you to be conscious at home that you have to do it alone, without any kind of help. No cell phone, no books. No activity books, no notebooks, yes, no dictionaries, yes, okay? I want you to be responsible, I'm conscious about it, yes? Okay, and you have one hour and a half. So, go to the toilet first, sit down there, bring a glass of water or something to drink, yes, there, on your desk. Go to a very private place where uh, there is silence, because I want you to concentrate and I want, you, I want you to go to a quiet place where you can't work, yes, in silent, yes, in silence, okay, silently, I was about to say, yes. Quiero que sean conscientes, este es un entrenamiento para el examen final, es la primera vez que se toma fuera de, afuera de la institución, online, entonces hoy, you have to imagine that, that I am next to you, that you are in the classroom. Do this exam as if you were in the classroom. Yes, hoy voy a estar en su conciencia, ¿sí? Entonces, no se mientan a ustedes mismos, no me mientan a mí, háganlo solos, sin ningún tipo de, de, de ayuda, yes, una hora y media, no estén levantándose, terminan, van y hacen. Yo pongo el plazo esta mañana, ¿por qué? Porque tengo que tener en cuenta que se les puede caer internet, que la conectividad esté mal, entonces voy a apelar a que cada uno sea responsable y que sea honesto, ¿está? Hoy voy a estar en tu conciencia, ¿se entiende lo que quiero decir? Entonces, y por favor me mandan lo que me tienen que mandar, ¿sí? Tengan en cuenta que ahora yo voy a tener correcciones de globales de todos los alumnos de la institución, más sus tareas atrasadas. Yo pedí hace mucho tiempo que compren las short stories. Todos los niños, los alumnos de la institución la tienen porque ustedes no la tienen, se dieron de alta. 
Yes? Okay? So I need you to be responsible. I have already told you that, okay? In the class, in the before class, in the class before. Okay? Good. So uh, I am going to uh, start it with that. <coughs> With the composition, muy bien, Martin, muy bien, Santi, muy bien, Tere, que no sé qué te pasó, que me faltó grabar el video, pero Santi y Martín mostraron mucha responsabilidad, ya leyeron la historia, sí, ok, y entregaron el trabajo que tenían que entregar, ok. So you are going to start, uh, this is a reading paper. The writing. Choose any of the following topics. You can write a report between 100 and 180 words, summer activities in Formosa. Most words must be underlined. The aim to sum up, generally speaking, I would recommend. Or an essay between 140 and 190 words, is it better to spend your holidays in your country or to travel abroad? Mass words must be highlighted from my point of view. Some people think that, yes, on the other hand, yes, okay. All right. On the other hand, I think that estaba el video. Yes, okay. Think that on the other hand, yes, okay. On the one hand, sorry, on the other hand, however, okay. So you have to choose the essay, uh, the writing that you feel more comfortable about. Com comfortable with, sorry. Yes, okay. If you feel more comfortable with a report, you choose this. If you feel mo more comfortable writing, comfortable writing an essay, you write the essay. Yes, okay. So remember, respect the number of words. Okay, is it clear? Respect the number of words. Remember, you have 20, 25 minutes more or less to write it. 20 minutes you write, in 5 minutes you check. Pónganse por favor el reloj, que le marque la, que los minutos, los segundos, todo, que le marque la hora que tiene, el tiempo, yes? And the remaining time, okay? Háganlo así, por favor, yes? Is it clear? Remember you are being trained for the final exam, yes? Esto es un entrenamiento, chicos, tómenselo en serio, por favor. Yes? And that's all, yes? Once you finish it, you will go to the reading and to the, the rest of the, the exam. Yes, okay? Good. So in exercise A, you have to complete the following sentences using specific vocabulary from units one to six. The first word is given as a clue. Te da la teacher la primer palabra. Yes, okay? Letra, perdón. Complete the following sentences using the, the words given. You can make any necessary changes you need. Remember to identify what you need there, a noun, a verb, an adjective, yes, an adverb. Exercise C, complete the following paragraph using the most suitable verb tense, okay? Ojo que hay compara eh, conditionals too. Exercise D, complete the second sentence between, with between two or four or five words, including the word given. Yes, so you have the word given here. Yes, so that it has the similar meaning to the first sentence. You have the sentence here, read the sentence, and you have to write these sentences with the words given in brackets with the same meanings between two and five words, okay? I'm going to put this uh, in red. Pay attention to the grammar and everything. Yes? Read and understand the sentence first and then write the change. 
listen and answer the following question. Who was murdered? Remember, you have to read first. Where, where did author Logan, Arthur Logan, Logan go at about quarter past nine in the morning? Was Crawford uh, Harvey in love with Julian Logan? Who went for a walk in the garden? And what did the dead, dead man, wife, dead man wife do last night? Then you have the reading, a small circle of good friends is better than one best friend. Yes, this is a reading paper. Yes, okay. Choose from the people from A to D, four questions from one to five. Okay, that's all. So, uh, can we go to the listening now? Yes, I will read the listening. Uh, I wish you good luck, concentrate, and take into account all the things we have talked before. Yes, be responsible, be honest with you and with the teacher. Are you ready? So, this is, uh, you have to uh, listen Yes, this is not simultaneous. I mean, you have to put the pen down, put the pen down, and just listen. Put the pen down and listen. All right? Good. <clears throat> well, everybody, as you know, Joshua, Joshua Logan was killed early this morning. He was hit on the head with a blunt instrument. We don't yet know what, so I need to know what you were all doing last night. We can start with you, Arthur. Arthur Logan. You are Joshua Logan's nephew, I think. Yes, I'm staying here for a few days. Can you tell us about your movements? Of course. In the middle of the night, I was walking by a sound downstairs. A crime, I think. I looked at my watch. It was about quarter past two in the morning. I pulled on some clothes and went downstairs. And what did you find downstairs? Nothing at first. You see, just as I was going towards the study, I was attacked from behind. Hit on the back of the head by a man, I think it was, with dark glasses and a black cap. I don't know how, I, how long I was unconscious. When I woke up, I went to the study and there was my poor Uncle Joshua. You know, I can't bear to think about it. Poor Arthur. Now, then, Juliet Logan, you are the dead man's wife, I believe. This must be very difficult for you. What can you tell me about the events this morning, of this morning? Well, it's back to last night, I couldn't sleep. I have a lot of it in my mind, so I read until about two in the morning. You and your husband haven't been getting on well, I think. Yes, it's not a secret. I wanted a divorce, but he couldn't agree. Some people in your situation might think of killing their husband. Perhaps, but I didn't do that. I turned my light off at about five past two and went to sleep. I was walking by Arthur, Arthur with the terrible news. It's not true. I'm sorry. It's not true, Inspector. Julie's light, light was still on at twenty past two. I saw it. Well... Perhaps I went, I just went to sleep with it on and, and you are, sir? Well, that's Crawford Harvest. He's a friend of my uncle's, but he's crazy about my aunt. He's been in love with my aunt for years. Is that true, Mr. Harvest? Mr. Harvest? Yes, yes, I admit it. Oh, Crawford. Oh, Crawford. So, what were you doing last night? Well, I couldn't sleep either. I went for a walk in the garden. That's how I know about Julie's light. And, Inspector, I must tell you, I have a black cap. It is true. 
But I didn't kill Joshua Logan, honestly. I will repeat for the second time. Yes, okay? Well, everybody, as you know, Joshua Logan was killed early this morning. He was hit on the head with a blunt instrument. We don't know yet. No, we don't know yet. We don't know. We did, sorry, I will start again. Well, I was concentrating on the story. I'm sorry. Well, everybody, as you know, Joshua Logan was, was killed early this morning. He was hit on the head with a blunt instrument. We don't yet know what. So I need to know what you were all doing last night. We can start with you, Arthur Logan. You are Joshua Logan's nephew, I think. Yes, I'm staying here for a few days. Can you tell us about your movements? Of course. In the middle of the night, I was working by the sound downstairs. A cry, I think. I looked at my watch. It was about quarter past two in the morning. I pulled on some clothes and I went downstairs. And what did you find downstairs? Nothing at first. You see, just as I was going towards the study, I was attacked from behind. Hit on the back of the head by the man. I think it was, I think it was, with dark glasses and a black cap. I don't know how long I was unconscious. When I woke up, I went to the study. There was my poor uncle, Uncle Joshua. You know, I can't bear to think about it. Poor Arthur. Now then, Juliet Logan, you are the dead, ma the dead man's wife, I believe. This must be very difficult for you. What can you tell me about the events of this morning? Well, Inspector, last night I couldn't sleep. I have a lot of in my mind. So I read until about two in the morning. You and your husband haven't been getting on well, I think. Yes, that's not a secret. Okay, I want a divorce, but he couldn't agree. Some people in your situation might think of killing their husband. Perhaps, but I didn't do it. I turned my light off at about five past two and went to sleep. I was walking by Arthur with terrible, with the terrible news. It's not true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry? It's not true, Inspector. Julie's light was still on at twenty past two. I saw it. Well, perhaps. I just went to sleep with it on and... And you are, sir? That's Crawford Harris, Harvest. He's a friend of my uncle's, but he's crazy about my aunt. He's been in love with my aunt for years. Is that true, Mr. Harvest? Yes, yes, I admit it. Oh, Crawford. So, what were you doing last night? Well, I couldn't sleep either. I went for a walk in the garden. That's how I know about Julie's light. And, Inspector, I must tell you, I have a black cap. It is true. But I didn't kill Joshua Logan, honestly. Okay? Well, that was all. I want you to concentrate, uh, take into account all the things that we have already talked. I wish you good luck and a very happy weekend. Bye bye. See you next class. I wait for your brainstorming and videos about the story. Happy weekend!